I don't know how much of you knows that the music note is very mathematical. I will explain that to you in the next 10 minutes. The uh, all the notes C, D, E, F, G, and go back A, B. In Europe, it's a Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, right? Okay, the note has a frequency assigned, and this was done by music instrument makers and musicians, basically early uh, Europe. Okay, the lowest sounds like a 16 hertz. That's not sounds, just vibration. Human ear cannot hear that low. Okay, and that's like a, a pipe organs and stuff. Next C is 32.7 hertz, which is the lowest frequency of the uh, uh, piano. And MIDI, we have MIDI here. This is a computer assigned a number to each note. And the lowest C is 24, 32 hertz. And most of computer has a problem processing that kind of sounds. Maybe uh, let's try to make the sounds. Yep, you cannot even hear it because computer cannot generate that low. Um, going upward, the C repeated, and each time frequency is doubled. Okay. So it's not frequency is linearly increasing, it's doubled every time, 36. And let's see, the standard note, middle C, so-called middle C is 261 hertz, C4, MIDI number is 60. Let's hear this sound. Okay, that's the sound most of instrument are tuned together. That's the middle C. Um, the lower C is like lowest note for viola. Uh, let's hear the sounds. Pretty low. Okay. Now going upward. The highest uh, average human female's highest sound is a C6, and that's 1000 hertz. So that's the sounds of the average female's highest tone. Going upward, the highest note for flute. Let's try this. Okay, now the highest note, C8. This flute's highest 2000 hertz to 4000. This is probably upper limit of the human. I'm not sure how well the uh, computer can convey these sounds to you, but the middle note C is MIDI number 60. And using this number, I compose the uh, formula to calculate the frequency from the MIDI number. Okay, that's exponent function. So that means MIDI number, which is a linear number, 47, 48, 46, uh, between C, C to C, it's evenly allocated. Um, all the nodes are evenly numbered. The, there are 12 numbers between C to C. Okay, 
and that's gonna be 12 numbers log function frequency divided by 261 this is the middle C frequency so because this 60 is a middle C's MIDI number okay so basically what we know about node is it's a logarithmic function of frequency it's strange how come this uh, old music note created long time ago by music instrument makers and musicians the classic music musicians adopted logarithmic function it's not evenly in incremented it's it's doubled every time and between double C to C C1 to C2 is doubled between double the frequency it's divided by 12 evenly of the log function not the frequency the log function of frequency okay here's the reason human ear is logarithmic function well not only human the dog and other animals seem to be logarithmic function there is a biological reason for that logarithmic function can cover much wider range of frequency okay and each animal has a different frequency range like elephant has much lower frequency to higher frequency range and lower frequency they can even feel the vibration of the ground which human can't the dog can hear much higher frequencies than human so dog whistle human cannot hear but dog can hear okay so biological reason is to widen the range of frequency the ear is made of logarithmic function and that resulted in this music note and the instrument the humans cleverly detected the nature of the human ear and created a note the frequency is exactly the logarithmic function okay now sounds type flute piano has all the different sounds type means when you play all the waveform looks different right this is composition of logarithmic frequencies and it's basically Fourier series and I explain this a little bit more detail later okay and not only sounds type harmonic sounds certain sounds composition is good for human ear and certain combination is bad for human ear there is so-called harmonic sound combination okay that frequency ratio is integer and that is also explained by mathematical formula Fourier analysis okay so math pretty much can explain how the human perceive all the sound not only sounds but sounds type and the harmonic sounds also okay so how the Fourier transform works okay the this FT is the wave function by time we take integral from negative to positive all the way using this equation has a F frequency in here so you get the frequency spectrum so any waveform is converted into spectrum and it's a discrete spectrum means certain frequency f1 f2 fn has certain height and if you combine them together combine what this each frequency is sine function sinusoidal waveform okay so sine function we combine them together the certain frequency and that frequency is the multiple of integer then you can recreate any kind of music instrument so that's the synthesizer 
synthesizer use this exactly mathematics to generate the sound. And if you do inverse transformation, uh, this should be frequency. Frequency spectrum, you can get back original waveform. It, it could be flute or piano or whatever you want. You can synthesize synthesize the sounds. Okay. So the this math formula tells you the integer multiple frequency of sine wave can generate any kind of sound. Suppose this ugly sound here is uh, like a zigzag waveform. This doesn't sound good. But you take one section, okay, and this can be recreated by adding sine waves properly. Okay, if you add them up, it's getting closer, closer to this wave. And if you add more higher frequency, it become end up with exactly this form. Okay, so what is a spectrum? Spectrum is all the sine wave to be added. And Fourier analysis is to obtain the spectrum from the analog signal. Okay. So in the in the future the AI may be able to compose the music because AI know exactly what's harmony, harmonic combination of sound is good for humans ear. Human feel good about it and they can combine them together to make the music. So it's totally possible. The math will help AI to create the music. Nothing mag magical about it. Okay? And this additional subject is sound compression. How they do the compression? There's uh, two kinds of compression, lossless and lossy. Lossless means after compression, you can recover 100% original sound. Lossy means maybe 95% lose some quality of the sound, but compression is much better. It's a much smaller file. Okay, they have various algorithm, and the Fourier analysis is basically uh, one option, but it's not used for sounds much because sounds is real time compression. The Fourier has much carry much less information because it's carry only discrete number of, number of frequency and height. And if you have this enough, then you can recover pretty much lossy kind of compression. Image compression uses Fourier, but it's a two-dimensional. So it shows discrete frequency in two-dimensional field and they put it back to original image and you get the exact image that's the JPEG okay so the math has many many application but sounds music is totally mathematics and that's a message here it's a beautiful relationship between math and music. If you know the math, then you know everything about music. Why the C notes frequency doubled? That's all in the math. Okay? I hope you enjoy listening to these videos and please check other interesting videos. Thank you for listening.